thousands of people are suffering from a double disaster that hit the country earlier this week. 4.9 magnitude earthquake just rocked the country on Tuesday in the southern coastal region, killing at least three people and injuring many more. Well, that earthquake follows severe flooding and landslides that hit the country on June 2nd and June 3rd. The severe flooding killed 51 people, caused extensive damage to the country as well. And just yesterday, during a trip to the Bahamas, Vice President Kamala Harris, she announced $50 million in humanitarian yeah. to ha humanitarian aid, I should say, to Haiti while hosting U.S. Caribbean leaders meeting in Nassau. So this announcement is just part of a larger agenda focusing on cooperation in the Caribbean, including a multinational force in Haiti. So here to help us discuss how South Floridians, you, can help earthquake quake survivors is Paul Christian Namfi. He's the political director of the Family Action Network Movement. Good morning, Paul. Thank you so much for coming in. It's an important topic, obviously. So let's get to it. We're talking about double disasters here, and we can show the pictures and we can and try to explain it, but give us an indication being on the ground for folks there, and I know you're in contact with them. How bad is the situation? The situation is very bad. There have been heavy floods uh, this past weekend. They resulted in over 50 deaths, 140 wounded, uh, mm -hmm. 18 missing persons, over 30,000 houses were flooded, 820 destroyed. This is according to the Civil Protection, that's the uh, National Directorate that's in, that's uh, respons responsible for emergency uh -huh. response. And uh, health infrastructure has been very effective. Uh, there's five health facilities that were impacted. Um, these are the, This is the flooding, mostly in the West Department, where the capital is, some in the Southeast as well. And there have been collective evaluations of the number of affected families at over 40,000, uh, close to 40,000, and that number is uh, likely to increase. That's so on the flooding side, yeah. And then the earthquake uh, also uh, has claimed four lives in Jeremy in the Grand Anse, uh, and that was the same area that was affected by the t 2021 earthquake, mm -hmm. which had uh, affected uh, over 800,000 so people. So look, we're, we're talking about two disasters here in, exactly. in, in a matter of days. How difficult is it going to be for this country to, to bounce back? Very, very, very difficult. Uh, as, as we see, it, it's a situation where uh, the emergency response has had to respond to uh, double crises and at the very time that there are a, a series of issues that they're being facing already. Well, gang uh, with violence the is one of the big issues, Absolutely. right? And getting that aid to the people who truly need it. Yes, yeah, so there, the, the, the capital is cut off from the affected area from the earthquake, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. Security from, from attacks by armed groups have cut that uh, area off uh, from the capital being able to provide emergency assistance. This is horrendous on many different levels. So as you know, South Floridians watch this and, and want to help because there are a lot here that perhaps even have family members that are affected by this. What can they do? So uh, it's very, very important uh, that the urgent needs uh, be met uh, in terms of you know pumping water and mud out of those houses, restoration of fuel yeah, supply. Yeah, but what can South Floridians so do? South Floridians uh, can uh, reach out to organizations that have a responsible track record, for example, at the Family Action Network movement. Uh -huh. uh, we've been involved in the community here uh, for over 30 years, and we are in direct contact with uh, organizations on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, I can give you our information. What do you need? Do you need money? Do you need clothing? Do you need supplies? Uh, what do you need? We are not re recommending that c uh, clothing uh, be provided at this time okay. because it's very difficult to distribute, but uh, those organizations who and people who do want to reach out, uh, it's fanm.org, and our social handle is F-A-N-M-O-R-G. So okay. that is one way to uh, uh, make a difference. And we are in direct contact with organizations with bona fide groups that have made a difference in the past that we can continue to work with.